Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Now I wanted to talk about a problem I've just encountered. Now if you've updated, if well if you're unaware, Final Cut Pro 10 as well as Compressor 4 received an update uh, a few days ago in October. I think it came out, I think it was about October 23rd. But anyway, the two most recent versions have, a, have introduced a new problem, unfortunately. Now, I did have a lot of issues initially uh, getting the cluster to appear within Compressor. Uh, if you're not familiar with clustering, uh, if you use Final Cut Pro and you export a project and you want to combine the resources of multiple Mac computers to uh, more quickly uh, export the project, you can use a cluster. So it combines the processing cores from all of your Macs and more quickly uh, compresses that video. But with the new version of Final Cut Pro 10, not only have they re-engineered the workflow, the mouse clicks you have to perform to export the project to Compressor, but also within uh, Compressor uh, 4, things have subtly changed. Now, after the update of Final Cut Pro 10 and Compressor, I was still able to see my cluster that was working without issue before I performed the update. So I was able to see, I was still able, even after the update, I was still able to see everything there. So it appears it should work. But the problem I've encountered is that now with the new Final Cut Pro 10, once you're ready to export it, you don't have that export option anymore. Your option now is file menu and then send to compressor. And when I do send to compressor, it does indeed send it to the compressor. And then I'm able to, within Compressor, add my video settings, which I use 1080p video sharing services. That's irrelevant. It's what I've always used. But then when I go to the part within Compressor where I hit Submit, where in the past I would see this computer, or I would see Wicked Cluster, which is my cluster that I use for uh, my Final Cut Pro. But now, after the update, I only see this computer again. So I'm digging into this one. I know there's there's got to be there's got to be an abundance of users out there that have encountered the same issue, and that's why I'm posting this video. If you already know the fix, please let me know. Share on this video. Share with others, because I'm sure we're not the only ones afflicted by this problem. And meanwhile, I'm continuing to troubleshoot the issue. If I find the fix, I'll post a follow-up uh, video so that everyone knows how to resolve this issue, because it's very annoying. And it's definitely something, I mean, not so much for myself, but someone in the, uh, in the, in the big business that has, you know, cluster, uh, you know rent, uh, clusters of hundreds of Macs or whatever, this is probably really irritating them. For me, I'm just a YouTube partner. But for them, maybe they're, maybe they're in Hollywood creating movies or something. They're probably, uh, probably pretty uh, irritated by this. So... Thanks for watching and uh, welcome your feedback. Hopefully we can get this, uh, get this puppy fixed soon. And if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to do so. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash Irix guy. Y'all have a good day.